Hello students, welcome to this series of science lessons. In this presentation, we will study about plants. Getting to know plants. When you've been into a garden, just look around. You see so many plants. Some plants are big, some plants are small. Some have huge flowers. Some have tiny flowers while some have no flowers as well. We see variety of plants around us. Generally, a plant has stem, branch, root, leaf, flower and fruit, herbs, shrubs and trees. Now let us see the activity one. Look closely at the stem and branches of plants much smaller than you. Plants which are about your same height and plants which are much taller than you. Generally, plants could be classified as herbs, shrubs and trees. Notice this plant. Plants with green and tender stems are called herbs. They are usually short and may not have many branches. We don't see much branches in this, in the herbs. Notice this plant. Some plants develop branches near the base of the stem. The stem is hard but not very thick. Such plants are called shrubs. Now notice this plant, we can call it as a tree. Some plants are very tall and have hard and thick stem. Here you can notice this plant has got hard and very thick stem. The stems have branches in the upper part. We don't see much of the branches in the lower part of a tree. Generally, we will see branches at the upper part. Such plants are called trees. Leaf. How are leaves attached to the stem? In a plant, the thick part, this is called stem of a plant, which holds branches, flowers and leaves. How are leaves attached to the stem? This is a stem of a plant. This is called a petiole, which holds the leaf. Broad green part of the leaf is called a lamina. The whole part of a leaf is called lamina. To recap what we have studied, this is a stem of a plant. The one which holds a leaf is called petiole. This part is called lamina. Now let us see activity 7. Go to an open ground with elder supervision where many wild plants are growing. Dig out a few, wash the soil of the roots and observe them. Do you find all of them have these two kind of roots? Generally, root could be seen like this or like this. In the example one, the main root is called tap root. And smaller roots are called lateral roots. Now let us see the example 2. In these kind of plants, there will not be a main root. Instead, there will be many roots. All roots seem similar. This type of plants having this kind of root is called fibrous roots. Flower. Here we can see three examples. In the first example, there is only a stem. In the second example, we we got stem, petioles and lamina. In the third example, we got a stem, petiole, lamina with some flowers. Now let us read the activity 10. Observe this flower. Now let us see the important parts of a flower. This is a bud. After some time, bud will turn into a wonderful flower. This beautiful thing in a flower or a bud is called petals. The one which is around the petals, this green part, is known as sepals. Now take a flower, carefully remove the petals and sepals. Once you have removed sepals and petals, you can able to see stamens and pistil. In this example, this yellow part is called stamen. And if you are able to see a green part here, this is called a pistil. This is a magnified version of a stamen. This is a 
magnified version of pistil. The innermost part of a flower is called pistil. In pistil, we can see stigma, which is the top of the pistil. This part is called style, and in and in here we can find ovary. Carefully cut the pistil. In this manner, you can able to see ovules in ovary. The content of this recording is borrowed from Karnataka Textbook Society, Bangalore, under fair research policy. This video is presented by Avari Technologies. Please do hit subscribe button to get more content. Thank you.